Hello YouTube, my name is Witsy, and we are looking at a game called Ukulele. So what is Ukulele? Uh, it was a game that is a spiritual successor to the Banjo-Kazooie series, as you can see instantly by the art style, by the fact that we have two characters that kind of uh, synergize and work off of each other. There's the standard uh, Rare-esque gameplay where simple attacks, uh, you get simple attacks, you get like ground pounds and things like that. Um, you are looking for a certain collectible. In this game, it is called Pages. <clears throat> so what is the story of ukulele? Pretty much the story was that one day ukulele is sitting there, they're in their uh, shipwrecked house that they have. Uh, y I, I can't remember who is who. Uh, Yuka is the bat. Laylee is the chameleon, I'm pretty sure. And uh, either way, one of them found a golden book, and it was a book of pirate treasures and gold. And our uh, bad evil villain, him, actually. Nope. And exploding minions are definitely one. Yeah, he is capital B. He is our he is our evil enemy, and he has a plan to suck up all the books in the world so that he can be the only single uh, book salesman. I think that's what it said. He's also burning books down there, so I don't know if that's actually right as, what his plan is. But either way, I haven't gotten that far. I've only played about an hour. But yes, uh, and the golden book, the golden pirate book was sucked up and the pages were strewn across the land. Now it is ukulele's job to go and find them. What is so, what is so interesting about that? Um, ooh, what is, what is all this stuff going on? I hear something. I hear something. There's a pagey in there. I don't know how to get in there. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do any, yeah, I, I don't know. Can we stand on the trees? No. But anyway, so uh, we collect pages. This is uh, Capital B's area, and we collect pages. We hop on here, and it allows us to open books. And this is the first uh, book. This is the first world that you go into. As you dump, Sheila, email that dinosaur and tell him we don't do arcades anymore. What do you mean he doesn't have internet? <laughs> okay, uh, that one is that one's also kind of funny. We'll see. But anyways, we jump into books. As we put more page pages into a book, it expands the world. And as you can see, this is Banjo-Kazooie, like 100%. And thankfully, or hopefully, there won't be a sequel where it's only driving. <laughs> that was a really good game. Anyways, we're in Travel Stack Tropics. So, this is the first world that you see. Uh, I've gotten through the majority of the tutorials. Fun fact, in cutscenes and tutorials, you can't skip through them, and you can't really, like, mash buttons to make the text go faster. And there is no options to do so. Also, the, uh, oh, the voices. Ugh, the voices are fun. Anyways, uh, so you, the first ability you get is this little thing where you roll around. It burns your energy, and it's used to climb up these. If I were to try and climb up one of those otherwise, as you can see, we, we can't climb up it normally. So we have to use our little, our little rolly roll, and that burns energy, but it just comes back after a little while. Uh, there, it's used for races and a bunch of other things. We have our little enemies, and of course we can fight them, break them up and all that fun stuff the fun thing that i noticed about this game it has a lot of fourth wall breaks and it has a lot of pop culture references and whatnot for instance if we go up here this is the place that i just unlocked if we go up here actually what is that oh cool okay if i light you on fire no okay that's weird uh we'll get to that in a second <laughs> If we go up here, oh well, doesn't this look? Doesn't this little fella look interesting? Blimey, check this out! You go. Greetings, adventure. I am the one they call Shovel Knight, and I'm having an, an adventure. I seem to have embarked on such a grand adventure. I've ended up in the wrong game. Yeah, there's lots of there's lots of snides like that. I hate it when that happens. There appears to be an alluring treasure at the top of this temple. However, having trouble reaching it, I haven't gotten used to this bizarre third dimension yet. Uh, Shovel Knight is a 2D side-scrolling platformer. Retrieve the giant jewel and I'll reveal to thou the success, the secret to succeeding in any adventure. All right, your knight list will find your jewel. Just make sure the payment is definitely page-based. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, and then we can go along, and there are different platforming puzzles, like for instance, these things you move based on where you're moving. Pretty easy. All you have to do is just do that. Uh, you know. 
make sure everything's okay. This one, which was just introduced a second ago, you take a, you eat a fruit, you take a gem, and it freezes things. Uh, it lasts for a certain amount of time, and then after a while, oh, okay. There you go. Uh, the gems last for a little bit of time, and you can just shoot them indefinitely. Kind of like how you just saw with the fire flowers a second ago. Uh, so here we come over here, and then we do the jumpy jumps. And then we do that. And there you go. That was really difficult. Glad. Okay. But the that's what the majority of this gameplay is going to be. It's ma mainly going to be puzzle-based. There are... I know that just like all the rare games... This... I don't think this is actually a rare game. This... I think this was made... Or helped with the developers of some of the of the rare team. But the people that made, you know, Banjo-Kazooie Banjo and all those fun things. Um, excuse you? Excuse you? Okay. Dang it. Okay, so we don't have, like, a wall jump or anything yet. And it seems... Or not a wall jump, but, like, a hop up. And every single time, it seems we gotta run back up here, which is really fun. But, yeah, uh, this has a lot of the trademarks of the rare games. Pretty, pretty simple boss fights. Usually, it's just a simple mechanic. At least, I assume so. I haven't actually gotten there yet. Uh, simple combat, lots of puzzles, lots of comedy, interesting, uh, characters, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm done climbing on this for right now. We'll go take a look at some other stuff. Lots of platforming, lots of platforming collections. Uh, most of the rare games were collectathons, and this game is no exception. As you, as I said, you have to collect the, the pages, and also you can collect these quills. These are, quills are currency in the game. It's pretty cool. I, I'm having fun with it so far. You can find simple little enemies, there's races, and a bunch of other fun things that you can do. It's definitely, it definitely brings back the, can I just like shoot them? Oh, I can, cool. Uh, it definitely brings back the feeling of the old rare games, and short of getting rare replay on the X-Bone, there really isn't, can I like fire him? No. There really isn't any uh, game that kind of falls into that, you know? There's been a severe lack of really quirky and goofy third-person, uh, third-person platformers. Oh good, oh good, oh good. What? Oh, I'm stuck in the fire. We have our little friendo here. Halt, puny lizard. The great Rampo is not interested in thine door to door sales. Turn him back or face thy doom. Oh, okay, of course, just put me right in the fire. Well, it's better than getting hit. But yeah, there's lots of this. This is what the main, this is what the gameplay consists of. Oh, God. Where you kind of have to bounce back and forth. Actually, can I, can I do this? No. Okay, so I can duck, but I can't actually, I can duck, but I can't actually, like, walk. Eh, that's kind of weird, but I'll accept it, I guess. And then we use the stoves to increase our HP. Ooh, that scared me heal ourselves. Increase our HP, same thing. Uh, okay. Apparently the only way to do that is damage boosting. That's, I find that slightly odd, but okay. Ooh, can we go up there? No. Take that, please. Thank you. Damn it, nope, okay. <laughs> uh, there are also some other fun little things. You can get tonics that allow you to do different things. Uh, the one that I have gave me another heart container, which was those butterflies. And there are these things down at the bottom, the ghosts. And uh, like I said, wisecracking at some popular, uh, you know, tropes in... Oh God. Popular tropes in uh, pop culture. They're called ghost riders. Yes, they are the ghost riders of this game. Not Ghost Rider, Ghost Writer. And, uh, I don't know if that's the, like, intended way to do that, but it's the way that I did it, so that's all I care about. Excuse you, can I have, can I have, you, you mind if I, you mind if I just take you, butterfly? No? Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we beat him. We beat him. It's... I can tell it's 
like a really fun game. It's probably not something I'll ever finish. Oh god, I think this is the first boss fight. <sighs> the great ramp boys, no need for thine double glazed window sales, mortals. What? We're not selling windows. We're hunting pages. I'm Yuka, this is Layla. Silence, Great Rampo no hustle when he read it. You two have been bothering every character on this island with your so-called deals. Prepare to be punished, my ancient slanty powers. Annoying glass peddlers. Uh, he's, he's poking fun at our salesman. He is a snake named Trouser. Yes, yes, you heard that right. He is indeed a Trouser snake. Oh, boys, you can't even, like, see what's going on. Dang it. Ah, oh, dang it. Give me... Oh, really? Oh, really? That's how things are gonna go, huh? Oh, okay, so we're not gonna... We're not gonna die immediately. That's good. I was there! I was there, dang it! Oh, this is terrible. Ooh, I just noticed there's a... There's what seems to be a weird circle thing over there. Uh-huh. I wonder if we can go through that. Oh, I didn't even think about that, you know? Hey, why don't we roll over the god dang... the dang things, you know? Or not roll, but jump. Or, okay, that, that doesn't work. Interesting. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Dang it! I was so close! And... Oh, no. I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention, dang it. Aha! Oh, I broke his teeth. Our great Rampo's winning smile is ruined. Okay. So, let's see how thy deal with this mortal peasants. So it's just in a... Okay, so now it's like this. Dang it! I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna die, man. I don't want to die on the first boss that I've found. There's... you really don't have much control. Like, doing the whole... um... doing the whole rolling thing. I thought I jumped over it, man, and... For so <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. And for some odd reason, I, I mean, I'll try it again, fudge it. Nah, again. Well, I tried, but that's pretty much the gameplay of ukulele. You can check out all that for yourself. Um, I don't think I can get these dudes. Hiya! Cool. And I'm sure people are, you know, just with everything else. I'm sure people are, you know, doing speed runs and, you know, 100% collectathon things and all that cool stuff of this game. It's very exciting. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. There is a way. Where is my Where is my Where is my trouser snake friendo? Let me go. Let me go show you my trouser snake. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, no, but you can buy different skills and whatnot from him. Alright, here is my trouser snake. I wasn't kidding. No, mom, yes, I'll be home for tea. Hold on, I've got to... Welcome, friends! <laughs> so, I can buy sonar shot. That is the last ability I can currently use. Top choice, are you sure this is... See, this I can't really skip. I can just mash this button, but... I think it's for, you know, with the kids and whatnot playing it. Smashing this move, I used to defeat the world three boss, a tricky encounter. Yeah, okay. You can't even dress yourself properly. Simply use Y. Her purple ball blasts solar energy. Mmm, sonar totems to uncover invisible objects. 
so I will show you what that is. So, we can go like this. Boom. Yay, we did it. We did it, guys. We did it, guys. We did it. And that's, there's, uh, what's it called? There's, there's probably gated progression like that throughout the whole game. Which is fine, you know? It's cool. Okay, so here's one of these ghosts. No, this looks like something else. I don't know what this is. I've never seen, I've never picked up one of these. It looks like an Adam. Is his name Adam? Hello, it's me, Molly Cool. Oh. Take me to Dr. Puzz for a cool surprise. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of different NPCs in this game, and you can... There's lots of different collectibles that you can give to said NPCs to get different things. Let's let's see what... Yes, she's a squid. She's my wife. Stupendous, you made it. If your friend has a Molly Cool, I can fire up the DNA ray and help you on your adventure. What do you say? <laughs> Heff yeah. Heff, heff yeah. Fantastic. Stand right over there. I sure you up to this? I don't want you to end up on a sushi platter. Let's do it. Let's turn into something different. Hmm. Oh god. What are we gonna transform into? Let's do it. Hit me. You ready to transform? Yeah, let's do it. <gasps> I am a plant. Uh, T-Rex, you could always use square to fire your plant spray. Ooh. Hey, hot stuff, come over here, pay me some attention. Oh, boy. No, 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 I want to go, I want to go. Ooh, I want to go spray my pheromones at some plants, if you know what I mean. Hi. This is weird as all hell. Handsome, I haven't seen you around here before. My plant sisters knew what I could do with a strapping floor like you in their lives. Tell you what, if you help my sisters grow, I'll reward you with a romantic gift. What'd you say? Okay. And and so it seems like we're spraying our seed on some romantic ladies. So yes. There you go. If you've ever wanted to uh if you've ever wanted to play plant dating sim, there you go. You're currently there. Boink. There we go. Okay. <laughs> really? Really? Is this, this is what we gotta do? Okay. That was kind of fun, I guess. There we go. We got it. And... Five out of six? Where the, where's this number six? Wait. Where's number six? Excuse you. Where's my, where's the final plant? Um, okay. Wow. Well, there's one. <laughs> That's, that, I mean, it's kind of adorable. Um, did I miss it? Was it right in front of me? Yeah, it was right in front of me. Okay, there we go. Ooh, sisters. Thanks for helping my sisters grow. You certainly swooped them off out of their roots. Here's a romantic gift. It's probably a, yep. It's a pagey. Yay! These are what we collect. For some odd reason, the screen's turning yellow. Or is that just my display? Yeah. Yay! Now we have three pages. Isn't that cool? So yeah, uh, if you like this and it looks fun to you, go check it out. We. Like I said, I'm not going to play through it on the channel. I might stream it or something, but it's it still looks like it could be a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. If you want to see the, some more games like this and some more reviews, well, first first looks, they're not really reviews. They're more like my initial impressions and whatnot. Let's okays. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, put out new videos every day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.